What's going on, everybody? It's your host of Pigskin Picks. Your boy Wayne Breezy. Mo's nose is in the building. Mo's, we dropping bombs on him today. How you feeling, baby? I'm doing all right, man. Look, I extended my lead, so I'm, 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 I'm very happy about that. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I finally swept in, in, in the picks where we were different. We're four picks. We were different. I finally swept that category, so I got to see the league get increased a little bit, man. So I, I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm up. I got a, I got a 12 game lead. So we just want to keep on, on, on the right path. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I didn't mean to rub that in good brother. No, you did. Uh, <laughs> and that's because I, you know, I just wanted to be different, you know, and then that's what happens, you know, but you know, I'm not going to be different no more. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to pick whoever the freak I got picked in my picks. Cause it's funny. Cause my picks are different than what I be picking. But I'm 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 back. Here we go. Let's get right down to it. Moses killing me right now. Uh, twelve point twelve. Golly. All right. Okay. All right. Thursday night football. We gonna kick it off. Panthers at the Bears. The Bears. Panthers. I like I, I like this Bears team a little bit. I mean, every week they come out, they show they got fight. You know. Defense seems to be playing well. You add Montez Sweat. He's got another week in the system. Offense, uh, Deontay Foreman is, is, is running crazy. Uh, DJ Moore is getting featured in the offense. Uh, for the Panthers, uh, again, young team, you know, new head coach trying to not only install his offensive philosophy, but build a culture there. Um, you know, we're past the trade line, trade deadline. I know there were some names for the Panthers that – they talked about being moved. Ultimately, no moves were made. Um, but I think they're they're still trying to establish a culture there. And I think the Bears are playing well enough right now to get a win at home on a short week. So I'm going Chicago. Yep. Bears. Da Bears. I'm going to go with the Bears. I'm picking whoever most picks this week. Colts <laughs> at the Patriots. Uh, I'm going I'm going Colts, man. The, the Patriots. Patriots haven't shown me a lot of anything uh, to prove that, you know, they can get the job done. Um, I think the Colts are playing uh, are playing really good football right now, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Jonathan Taylor, you know, again, another week getting more acclimated to the offense and, and getting back into the swing of things. Um, I think even on the road, you know, we haven't hit that really, really cold point, um, you know, where it can get, you know, to those freezing temperatures in Foxborough. So I'm going Colts on the road. The Patriots stink. So I'm going Colts. I'll keep my answer short and sweet. Texans <laughs> at the Bengals. Uh, listen, I, I, I love this Texans team. Uh, C.J. Stroud has proven all of the doubters wrong. Throwing for 470 yards, five touchdowns, um, and an amazing uh, win last week. However, this is a Cincinnati Bengals team that has finally hit its stride. Joe Burrow is healthy. Their weapons on offense are healthy. Uh, defense is firing on all cylinders. Um, I think this is just a bad week for the Texans to run into this team. I'm going Bengals at home. Bengals it is. The Tigers will win this game. Let's go Saints at the Vikings. Uh, Saints are one of those teams that are uh, inconsistent one week, they'll show up the next week. They won't, um, the Vikings are a feisty team. And for whatever reason, you know, he only had one win with the Arizona Cardinals, but for some reason, Josh Dobbs is just finding a way to play good football, no matter where he is and finding ways to get wins. Um, I think what they did last week will help propel them forward this week. I'm going Vikings at home. Yeah, I'm going with the Vikings here, too. They just find ways to win, man. Just like you said, look, as, as much as I want to pick Derek Carr, Alvin Kamara, uh, Chris Olave, those dudes out there, this could be one of those surprising games where Taysom Hill does his thing. Uh, but, you know, Vikings got the sack leader in the league in Neil Hunter. I think they go out there, they prove 
that they belong somewhere in this playoff hunt. All right. So I'm going Vikings here as well. Speaking of Vikings, let's go Packers at the Steelers. NFC North versus the AFC North. Yeah, the, the Packers aren't a good football team. Uh, I don't see them going on the road, getting a win against the Steelers. Who's going to block TJ Watt? Um, you know, not fully sold on Kenny Pickett, uh, but I feel like the offense will have enough to get it done against this Packers defense at home. I'm going Steelers. I got the Steelers for the dub as well. Titans, the Titans and Tampa Bay taking on the Buccaneers. Yeah, this one this one was tough for me because, you know, the, the Titans played well first week that Will Levis was in the game. He had four touchdowns. Next week, uh, they kind of struggled a little bit. Offense wasn't able to put points on the board. Um, and, you know, the Buccaneers team, again, one of those uh, consistently inconsistent teams. Uh, but I feel... I feel like they're in a better position, particularly being at home, uh, to get a win. So I feel like Baker Mayfield finds a way to get the ball to Mike Evans, to get the ball to Chris Godwin, um, and the and the Bucks find a way to get a dub at home. I agree with you. Uh, they finally figured out how to run the ball last week, and so if they can continue to find ways to run the ball, the Bucks will have more opportunities to come out with the dub. I think at home. And like you said, Tennessee Titans have been inconsistent. They are not on a short week, which they were last week, which I'm hoping is what hindered their offense. But I think the Buccaneers will find a way to pull out a win. I'm with you. We're on the road. San Francisco 49ers head to Jacksonville, Florida, to take on the Jaguars. It's early in the season, but I would have to say this is a must win for us. Losing four in a row. Yeah, panic by that, time. Panic that, time. That, that, that's, that's not what you see from a playoff contender, a team that believes that they are Super Bowl contenders and have all of the pieces to win it all. Um, I think the bye week was a, a week for us to kind of look inward, uh, to make some adjustments uh, and, and come out with some fire. Um, and I think we're running into a hot team. That's one five in a row like we did earlier in the season. Um, so this is a, a big test for us to prove that we are the team that we think we are. Um, and I think we're up to the test. So I'm taking the Niners. Yeah, the Niners is a must win. It's a must win by any means necessary, by all extremes. They got Trent Williams back. Debo Samuel is back. This is a must win. Uh, with Trent being back there, I like the Niners in this game. Uh, as great as that Jacksonville Jaguars defense is, the Niners defense is better. I like the 49ers in this game. It's not a hope for me. This is a no. Wayne Breezy, no. Sorry, Mose. All right, here we go. Browns at the Ravens. AFC North battle. Uh, Mose, before you give your take on this, all the teams as of right now from the AFC North are in the playoffs, including those Steelers. Including the Steelers. <laughs> Um, so maybe that maybe that changes this week. Maybe it doesn't. Um, looking at our schedule, I would say that this probably is the, the game of the week um, because it is a, a, a division game. Uh, the Browns have a top defense. The Ravens have a top defense. Um, this is good old fashioned AFC North uh, battle right here. Uh, but the Ravens are just playing too well. Um, they figured out how to run the ball, even with all the injuries that they've had. Uh, Gus Edwards look health, looks healthy. Um, he's running hard for this team. Uh, Lamar Jackson is uh, using his legs and creating uh, where he sees fit. But he's also standing in the pocket um, and being very accurate with his throws. Um, I think the Ravens defense is going to be able to shut down this Browns offense enough um, and, and at least give... Lamar Jackson, one or two additional opportunities to possess the football. Uh, so I'm going with the hot team. I'm going Ravens here. It's funny that you mentioned that. I think both teams are hot. Um, I think now that they got Watson back there in Cleveland, I mean, Amari Cooper activated. Like, those two are in sync. Uh, and they got Jerome Ford back to help him in that run game. But they're going against a tough, tough, like, defense 
and and look, even if the defenses gave up in this game, let's say both, like you're gonna have to find ways to stop all of the Ravens' weapons, and there's no way they're gonna be able to stop that one weapon in Lamar Jackson. So I'm gonna go with the Ravens here, the seven and two. They'll be improving in, proving to eight and two after this week, which will kind of start separating that AFC North a little bit. All right, let's go Week Ten Falcons at the Cardinals. It's a bird game, Moles. It's a bird game. Yeah, somebody Kyler getting their wings clipped. Too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Kyler Murray is back. To me, I don't think that matters. Um, I don't think this Cardinals team is very good. Um, and he's been out of the game for so long. There's going to be some rust. Uh, there's going to be some time that he needs to get acclimated to the speed of the game. Um, so I think, you know, that bodes well in Atlanta's favor. I'm going Falcons. Yeah, I'm going with the Dirty Birds opposed to those Angry Birds. The Angry Birds haven't been angry since 2019. Uh, but the Dirty Birds, they just, they're just they just a weird team, right? It's the weird how they get it done. I mean, Bijan Robinson, the offense, it doesn't seem to be igniting the way we thought it would be, but they find ways to win games. I think on the road, they always travel well to the West Coast. If if Arizona is considered West, they always find a well. They always find it well to travel. Uh, I got the I got the Dirty Birds on the road. Falcons here. Let's go Lions at the Chargers. Ooh, yeah. I might have to. This might be another game of the week, depending on what Chargers team shows up. Um, Wow, this one is actually tougher than I thought. I have Lions written down, so I'm going to stick with that. Um, they're a really, really good football team. They've unlocked Jameer Gibbs, finally. finally. We've Jeez. seen a couple of weeks in a row where he's been able to just have a, a major impact on what this offense is able to do. Um, Amon Ross St. Brown, uh, you get Jamison Williams back, so there is the threat of you know a deep shot downfield. Um, and this defense, uh, one thing that I noticed um, in the game against the Jets, the Chargers have some issues along that offensive line. Um, and one thing that the Detroit Lions want to take advantage of um, is is setting the tempo, setting the tone at the line of scrimmage and getting after the quarterback. So I think they're going to make Justin Herbert uncomfortable a little bit in his own backyard. I'm going to go Lions on the road. I got you, man. Lions on the road. Can they get that road victory? I'm going with Moe's here. Lions improved to seven and two. I just don't. Th I just think the Chargers are foe. Maybe they're still getting back into whatever. They're getting Eckler back to being acclimated to the way things work. But uh, I just don't know. Something about the Chargers seems off. Lions, you better travel well out there to the West Coast. We got the Giants at the Cowboys. NFC East matchup. I'm just going to go Cowboys. I have no choice but to pick the Cowboys. I would be silly if I picked the Giants, but I want the Giants to win. Absolutely. I agree with you. I want the Giants to win because I hate the Cowboys and their fans. Um, I think I've made it abundantly clear on a few of these shows now. Um, but we all know with the way that the Giants are playing, uh, the injury to Daniel Jones, which we now know is season ending because he tore his ACL. Um uh, what is, is his, I know it's not Danny DeVito. It's something DeVito. Danny Tommy DeVito's DeVito. an actor. Yeah. Tommy, Tommy DeVito. DeVito. They, they might be related. That might be his nephew. Uh, but I don't think he gets times. it done. <laughs> hey, I don't think he's going to get it done against his Cowboys defense. Uh, the offense felt like they unlocked some things. Get the ball to CeeDee Lamb. I know you want Tony Pollard to be the number one back. Honestly, that's not his role. I think he was better in a complimentary role. Instead of being the primary, your number one weapon on offense is C.D. Lamb. Find a way to get him the ball. I don't think they'll have trouble with that. I'm going Cowboys. And the Cowboys added a new weapon in Martavius Bryant. Interesting, huh? Interesting. Let's go Commanders. They got to travel west to Seattle. Take on the Seahawks after they got beat by the Ravens. So, will the Seahawks rebound? Or will the Commanders keep doing what they're doing? Oh, no, Seahawks are definitely going to rebound. Uh, I think the, the commanders, they got a win against a, a poor team. Uh, so I, I think they have um, misguided expectations about, you know, with the team that they are moving forward, especially after trading bookend pass rushers and Montez Sweat and Chase Young. Uh, Seahawks at home uh, in front of the 12 against a commander's team that's up and down. Yeah, I'm going Hawks, unfortunately. 
I'm going Seahawks here as well. They look to rebound. They're at home. I guarantee you they'll get this dub. Let's go Sunday night football. You got the Jets. Oh, man, this might be a good one. At the Raiders, the Raiders get a dub last week. How cool was that for their uh, interim head coach, uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Bryant? I, think, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, look, Jets, defense, solid, offense, eh. Raiders, defense, solid, offense, eh. But I will say Josh Jacobs is back. Yeah, I think this this might shape up to be a good game. Uh, I definitely do think that uh, the Raiders last week were playing with something to prove, and I think they proved that by going to get the win. Uh, now that that has kind of had a chance to wear off and subside, uh, I think this is one of the weeks where they come to, back down to earth. Uh, and I think this is another week uh, where Zach, uh, Zach, Zach um, what is his name? Zach Wilson. I don't know why I was blanking for a second. Where Zach Wilson shows us more of the promise, right? Like one week he'll show us the promise and then we just like, okay, this is what he really is. Then another week he'll show us the promise and then he'll revert. I think last week was a it was him reverting. I think this week is where we can, he shows us the promise. Uh, even on the road against the Raiders, I think the defense again gives him you know additional opportunities to possess the football. I'm going Jets. I'm actually going to go Raiders here at home. I think they continue to play the style of football that they want to play, dictate and control the game. Uh, I think they'll keep, they'll find a way by, by keeping that Jets defense on the field, try to wear them out, try to run east to west. Like I said, <laughs> Jacobs looks like he's back. I don't know where he's been first nine weeks of football, but he looks good. And that's what they need. And I think the offense just seems a lot more confident in this rookie. Is he going to go out there and make mistakes? Perhaps that's what Salah and his defense is going to try to get him to do. The way I look at it is the quarterbacks are a push. If the defense is, is where it's going to come down to, the the Jets should be able to take advantage of the Raiders' run defense, but the Raiders don't give up a lot of passing, so it's going to be it's going to be fun to watch. I think it's going to be a good Sunday night football game, even though you got the four and four Jets going against the four and five Raiders. I think the game is going to be good. I'm going Raiders here, the home team. Broncos Monday night football had it. So you, Broncos have a two game winning streak. Had it to Buffalo, who just lost. So I I'm I'm rebound game for the bills or does or is my man back super rust dangerous no, at me rust. it ha, ha, has to be a rebound game uh the bills are five and four five and four and this is a team that again like the 49ers had aspirations of not just making the playoffs but beating the Joe Burrow Cincinnati Bengals and beating the Patrick Mahomes Kansas City Chiefs and making it to a Super Bowl. If you lose to the Broncos and drop to five and five, now your season is in jeopardy. Yes, they've had a lot of injuries that they've suffered so far. Um, but at some point, the players that are on the field have to adopt that next man up mentality. They have to step up and they have to play better better and that starts with your leader that starts with your quarterback that starts with josh allen um, and i think he's going to be able to do that even against a, a a broncos defense that's shown that they can play good football uh they were able to pretty much shut down patrick mahomes in the kansas city chiefs offense um but with that said uh, i think like the 49ers this is a must win for the buffalo bills um, and i think they get it on monday night i think bills mafia shows up gives that team the energy that they're looking for um and they walk out of uh monday night with a w all right guys most did you give us your game of the week just give me one game that's your game of the week yeah i'm i'm, I'm gonna stick with uh uh browns ravens i think like you said the browns are hot the ravens are hot afc north battle uh for me that's my game of the week man I could dig it. I could dig it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all so much for tuning in to Pigskin Picks. We're at week 10. We'll be back to recap week 10 on next week and week 11 preview. Can't wait to get down. Hopefully, I will catch up by one game. I, I pick one different one. 
then Mose. Now, wait a minute. Gotta... If you win that, does that mean you sweat me that week? Does that count as a yeah, sweep? Because it's, on, one? it's only one. Yeah. I don't care about no damn sweep. I'm 95 games behind you. I need to catch up. There's only like 10 weeks left of football. If that, seven, eight, nine, I got to catch up. I'm one game, one week at a time. That's how I'm going to look at one it. One at a time. That's it. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We the hosts with the most. We'll be, ne- we'll be back next week. We love y'all. Peace. Peace.